Hey guys, welcome to the fourth grade origamist, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fold baby grood that I designed. This only takes a few minutes to fold, and I'm also going to show you um, a few of the models that I've just completed and one of them I designed. Um, here's the origami hermit crab from origami sea life. This took me about two hours. Um, the yeah, Afro Heard of Origami Sea Life by John Montrell and somebody else, I forget. Um, but you should really check that book out, it's awesome. And this one, in the comments, you could write down a name. I don't know what it is, I guess it's some sort of kangaroo tortoise kind of thingy. But. Okay, um, let's get down to teaching Baby Groove. Um, from, if you haven't heard of Baby Groove, it is a model, well, it's a character from Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, so I'm going to start with a 10 inch square of Connie, white side up, fold in half. Okay, unfold, fold this to the side. Wait a minute, I'm gonna end up with a white grid. So restart on the other side. Okay, so now we are make those really sharp. Oh, um, crease sharply and make very precise folds in this model because it really does matter if you want it to look good. Um, I'm gonna end up with the teal grid. Um. This is a modification of Jeremy Schaefer's Freaky Hand Airplane, I did, but I just added a bit of box pleating in it. Um, oh. um, Uh, by the way, um, Jeremy Schaefer is one of my um, biggest inspirers, inspirations. Okay, so now we're going to see which one, when you open the first one, which one's white. We're going to fold to that edge with that. Um, Jeremy Schaefer, he um, inspires me a lot of my models. Um, I have all of his books. So, if you haven't heard of him, then you should really check out his channel. It's awesome origami for kids like me. Okay, and then do all that. If you didn't get that, then fold that. Fold that. Um, um, turn it over. Then fold that over there. And then fold that. Open that up. And then we're going to do reverse folds on those creases that we just made. We're going to make several reverse folds. So first, the first one should make it look like that. Then that. Then you should have a flap. And repeat that so that you have five flaps. Um, so 
model will probably take only another five minutes to teach because it's pretty simple actually. Okay, now we are going to fold in between this point and that point. Like that, unfold, turn over, then we're going to fold that crease to the center, and the other crease to the center. And we're going to wrap it up. and turn it over. This step's pretty fun. We are going to open up all of this, go to the last layer, and flatten it out. Um, sorry if you can't see me. I think I have pretty. I think I have bad connection. Make sure that you grab all the layers, and then flip it over, and repeat again. And then turn it over, so that it looks like that. Mountain fold these two behind, and make sure that when you do the behind, you make that crease light right there, sort of like a rabbit ear, and repeat. And then you are going to fold this tiny square in half. And then fold to that tiny piece. And repeat. And then fold all those pieces at the same time. Two of them should have formed naturally. And now look like that. And then do the bottom. And now, it's pretty much all up to shaping. Once you got all that done, then it should look something like that. I'm not going to shape right now because I have dinner downstairs. See you next time on the 4th Grader Wakanda.